Here at Buena Park Junior High, our mission is to educate, motivate, and inspire students to achieve academic success and become productive global citizens. Our job is not just to deliver curriculum and educate, but to take it to the next level, which is to day in, day out, motivate our students, and then as well, to inspire them to have a vision for what their life can be in the future. We are such a diverse group of students that we can really just blend and make new friends and be ourselves like 24-7. We have a very um, diverse staff as well and then just really hardworking in that sense we really genuinely care about students and their well-being. We build connections just between our staff and our students every day, um, you know, letting the students know our doors are open. We want them to come in. We want to help them. We want to make sure that those connections are positive and knowing that, you know, kids can come to their teachers. It's a really fun experience just being here and it, coming to school every day, experiencing new projects and fun ideas. Our school has undergone major changes. We upgraded 36 of our classrooms to 21st century standards. Each classroom is equipped with LED displays, interactive projectors, built-in surround sound in the classrooms, mobile furniture, oversized whiteboards, all to ensure that instruction is flexible and accessible to students. We're starting to integrate more of our lessons uh, using the technology, um, the different websites and applications. A little more engaging for students, I think, as well. I, it's, it's nice to learn from them and, you know, they're able to learn from us. So it goes both ways. And I think they see that and it builds their confidence. I feel like with the technology, with the iPads, it's a great way to help motivate them and keep them engaged. We're a comprehensive junior high, so we have many options that will help inspire or motivate students uh, to do their best learning. They have a lot of electives. Um, if you're into stuff like forensic science, they have a forensic class where you can learn about um, being a detective and like fingerprints and all that kind of stuff. If you're more into like culinary, we have a culinary class, we have wood shop, we have leadership. I mean, we have yearbook, we have journalism, we have robotics. The kids love it, they talk about it all the time. They have robotics wars, they come in on the weekends. They have competitions with other schools in the county, which is fantastic. Um, we have art class, speech and debate. Music program that has band and orchestra and percussion and choir. We have an athletics program. I think that it's important to have a lot of different choices of electives because there's a lot of different kids here and everyone has different interests and there's just so many things for the kids to do, there's so many activities, it's just it's a good place to be. The students are deeply engaged in what they're doing. Uh, it's accessible to them 24-7. Our initiative is called Classrooms Without Limits, so students take their iPads home with them. We're using Canvas as an online system to put all of that learning into one space for them. We use a particular custom app for our school called School Go. On this app, you get all the normal information you'd find on a website, but it's available right there on a parent or student's phone. It serves as a platform for teachers to announce any homework tests that are coming up. And so students know that if they're absent, they go to the School Go app to see what they missed. And parents also have that expectation on teachers that we are posting what is happening in the classroom. Parents also at the junior high level want to know how their kids are doing day in and day out. We use an app called Hero, and what Hero does, it tracks the good and the bad. And students are given points for positive behavior, or even if they're tardy or they're caught chewing gum, they get points taken away, and so they're able to monitor their behavior and how they're doing based on their points. Parents also have access to this, and so they're also able to monitor their students' grades and behavior in school. In the city of Buena Park, we have very strong community, and at Buena Park Junior High, we see that community. We are educating sometimes second and third generation students who have attended our school. I've been in the district for 15 years. Um, I've worked at several schools, and just, I couldn't, I could not imagine teaching anywhere else. It's a tight-knit community. A lot of the families really appreciate what we do as teachers and as our administration, they're thankful. They trust us with their kids. We've done a really good job in fostering that relationship with our families. There's just a lot of camaraderie here. We all have a 
common purpose and a common goal to do what's right and what's good for kids. I think that's our bottom line. I think we all work well together. And so I think that just creates a very positive environment where students feel like they belong. And um, that is reflected from the administration to teachers to the students.